Nation. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. Wow, Barry, you make painting look so fun. It is fun, Mika. Whoa, I want to try that. Hmm, not quite what I pictured in my head. That looks great, Blippi. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. It's Bowie! Oh, hey! How you doing, Blippi crew? Wow, rainbows are the coolest. We should paint a rainbow next. Oh, what a great idea. Hey, I love this guy. Hmm, I wonder, how do you paint a rainbow when you only have red, yellow, and blue? Oh, three colors is all we need. I'll be right back. Come on, Debo. <laughs> oh, I got to do a quick appearance in New Zealand, but I'll be back to check out your paintings. Bye-bye, Bowie. Wow. What's that? It's the Paint Mixer 5000. It's going to help us make a rainbow. Are you ready, Debo? It's mixing time. Whoopsie. Wrong button. Oh, Debo, you're orange now. But how did red and yellow make orange? It's because red and yellow are primary colors, and blue too. When you mix two primary colors together, you make a secondary color, like green, orange, and purple. So cool. Next, let's make green. You got it, Debo, pour in the yellow and blue. <laughs> New color coming up. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> now all we need for the rainbow is my favorite color, purple. Maybe if we mix red and blue. We haven't tried that yet. <laughs> now we just need to mix these together. And shake it up. <laughs> it's purple! <laughs> Yay! Let's go paint that rainbow! Why just paint a rainbow when you can experience a rainbow? <laughs> Come on, let's go! Ready to experience a rainbow? Yeah! yeah. Hit it, Debo! Yeah! Surf's up! I love artistic expression! Oh, wow, we zip zoom bang. You made a full rainbow experience. I love it. I truly feel seen. <laughs> and I got the answer to my question How do you paint a rainbow with only red, yellow, and blue? You mix them to make orange, green, and purple. Upload answer, Debo. Let's party! Yahoo! Yeah. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! The rain will be gone soon, Taps? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow, so many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. 
Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends, or refracts, and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Whoa, look at that! It's amazing how big dinosaurs were! You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo! We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur! I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs! Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! We aren't sitting on a rock, we're on a very big dinosaur's back! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Hi, Blippi and Debo! I'm Angie, the Argentinosaurus! Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino! I have to break it up to say it right! Ar-gen-teen-o-sor-us! That's me! So. I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, oh, do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo! Whoa! You're really long! I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall! That's as long as three school buses! And a little taller than a telephone pole! Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. Hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! Oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey, this is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Blippi and Debo. <laughs> 
They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, look, a bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark. I can show you, but one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, Raj, look out. Whoa. Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up. Rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. Uh, uh, uh. You sleep upside down? Whoa, bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. I love our cool Blippi Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippi great grandson! <laughs> We're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! 
It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling! Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly! It's Horace! Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? No, oh, it's easy! Watch this! Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir. -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, but it, dip, 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 dip. Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick. You've got to stick. Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Oh, now I stick to the ceiling too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist, do the fly leg twist, and get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi! Bye-bye! I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we're in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! <laughs> wow! What a spectacular <laughs> jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? 
great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo! I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure! Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! brings you to these parts in your cool looking car. Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, oh. Rooney's hopping pretty high <gasps> and <gasps> super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> and the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> Jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye -bye. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right, the Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? <laughs> Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! 
Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Easy, careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need Wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Sure is hard. Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal! All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. <laughs> Milk in command! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. There, all finished. Carve away, Tabs! 
That's very nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And that's... <laughs> Tabs. I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? <laughs> Thank you. I wonder how do you throw the best Halloween party? Oh, I know, I know. I'm a Halloween expert. First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky. How about worms? Gummy worms! Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes. And the finishing spooky touch. Halloween fruit punch. Now we just need... Halloween costumes! I'm going as... A pirate! Yar! I'm a construction worker. Nice avocado costume tabs. Dressing up is so much fun. Ooh, our guests. Right on time. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. Wait a minute. Just one guest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, witches do entrance and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've ever seen. Must be Halloween. My very first Halloween party. <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends. And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Tabs! That bouncy castle is out of this world! Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but 
Let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean. Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Cherry, Cherry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on! Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> 
You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola! <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! You're really fast! My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet! Yeah. <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! <laughs> yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. <laughs> You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch, and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find! Yeah! Thanks, bye! 
I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure. Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream. Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea. We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm going to need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft. Prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there. <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans. I need them so we can start making chocolate bars. <laughs> I'm not a bean. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. Hi, Blippi. Hi, Debo. <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So, how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. No? But it'll be fun! <laughs> it's Chocolate Bar Debo! After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! 
me too. I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween. Wow, look at all the jack-o'-lanterns. Let's go check it out. Hi, Flippy! Yikes! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. You scared me. You're welcome, Flippy. I love to be scared. It's fun! <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Yikes! <laughs> score one for Team Pumpkin. Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. That's two points for Team Pumpkin. Come on, Bones. Let's play a we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl! <laughs> Let's go! This is gonna be good! Team Blippi! <laughs> you got us good, Blippi! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa! 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 Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy! This is really going to scare them! <laughs> <laughs> That's two points for Team Puppy! The next team to score a point is the winner! Yeah! Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. Yikes! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right, Halloween is the best. But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? All right, upload answer, Debo. Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Flippy. I had a lot of fun, too. Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is Ready for adventure. Here, ducky, ducky. Here, little ducky. Whoa! Big ducky. Hang on, Debo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond. You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! 
What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. Here again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. <laughs> you're right. I'm a small particle now. Soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Devo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me! Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks! You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stop the landing. Way to go, Mimi. <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles. <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrimp.
Freaky Down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you! Thank you, thank you very much, you're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo -de -de boop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sized up on the soap, make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Woo! <laughs> Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters. Because it's Halloween. Of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick or treat. Did somebody say trick or treat? Whoa! Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food. <laughs> well. You're just in time, because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating! Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go! The first thing we'll need are costumes! Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see! There we go! I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us! Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Boo! I'll just stick with a mask! Our costumes are ready! Time for the next step! Containers to hold our treats! Cool jack-o'-lantern pails! Hey, yeah! yeah! Trash bag! Ooh! My first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets! It's getting dark! A glowing ghost! Fun! Okay! <laughs> Be sure to pick a house 
that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Come on! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Trick, Trick or, or treat! treat. <laughs> Thank you! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! <laughs> Whoa! Those scare me every time! <laughs> Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Look, Look what, what I, I got! got. for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita. And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs>
cat's whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley. Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all. Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder. Why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky Day! Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, no, 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 no. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs, are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the ground. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha, ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume. Ready for a fright. Oh, who's that knocking on the door? Trick or treat is
gets up and walks, you have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an arr. fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Don't forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Ha, ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Oh, who's that? The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no! I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella! Don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. 
Well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bear version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks. That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Hey! It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <laughs> wow, Tabs! Even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait! Where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies! Hey! Those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer, Tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. <laughs> Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The 
Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> Well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down, too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates. And the sound hole there makes it super loud. Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was loud. Right, practice is over. Time to jam. One, two, three, four. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Bouncy sand dune! And even bouncier! Wow! What an amazing sand castle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh. I wonder, can I build a sand castle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah! You're right, Tebs! There is only one way to find out! I need to build a sand castle of my own! I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down. Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby, it's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi Mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Woo! Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. 
You're right, Tabs. We are gonna need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The 
Blimpy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippy and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! A uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again? Oh, oh thanks, Debo! <laughs> Time to build! First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. Mmm. What's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! All right! We're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. Look, there's one right now! Step right up! You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show! Fruit or Vegetable! Tell us your names! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. I do have two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow, thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. 
What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. <laughs> Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! 
the Blimpy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Uh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Grab the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house. Whoa! Look at all the decorations. So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside a haunted house? Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! Huh? I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs. But you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great. Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Ooh, wee! <laughs> you turned into a slide. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? It happens all the time to Bones. Maybe he's seen Tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where Tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spin!
spinning wall. Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Flippy! You made it all the way through my haunted house. The tricks are over, but now it's time for the treats! But wait, I still haven't found tabs. <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa! There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder. What planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Tabs, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to outer space. I'm Mary the Meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. <laughs> Whoa! That is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, we. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Look at all those adorable penguins! Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around! Wow! I think those penguins are flying! Wait a minute! Those aren't penguins! <laughs> You're right, Debo! I don't see any penguins flying! Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers! Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinky down! The Blippi!
Blimpy Mobile is ready for adventure. Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippy. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Oh, come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper, you're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Rawr! Rawr! You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right. We're in the Cretaceous period, millions of years ago when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi. I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. 
<laughs> Whoa! Whoopsies. Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. Something tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Eddie's time. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. I love our cool Blippi mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Blippi station. Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippi great grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great-grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. 